This secretary repeatedly goes through three large doors, to the office. Shout loudly to the old man. Something happened, your grandson has been kidnapped. This old man is not simple at all. He is the richest man in the world. For over 20 years, people call him king of oil. But today, his grandson has been kidnapped. He only keeps his head down, looking at the receipt on his hand. Talking to the secretary with a lighter tone. Sorry, I'm kinda busy right now. It's about to come to the exchange soon. Like all things are not unrelated to him. Previous is a scene, from the movie All the Money in the World. The movie is adapted from a true story in history. Getty, the world richest person at that time, owns billions of assets, but when he hears about the kidnapping, but he does not want to hand over any of the money, don't know if he is his grandson or not. After all, what is the reason, we'll talk from the beginning. In 1973, in one night, Paul was walking alone on the street. After teasing the girl, he watches the time, whoa, it's a bit late. Paul was about to go home, then the girl asked who he is. He said his name was Paul. Then people on the car, carried him away. Knowing about that, the secretary tells Getty. Also the richest person in the world, but he does not care at all. Because the life of the richest man, is a legend. A grandson is just dragonflies surf the water between the legendary ocean. It was the year 1948, he was alone, came to Arab to negotiate. No one believed that, he could do business there. Because based on the technology at that time. The difficulty of exploiting oil is extremely high. The oil alone, with a large amount like that. There is no boat that can tow. The Getty was decisive, if it could not pull, then just bought a shipyard. If there was no boat that big so he would make one. The truth proves, the older the more spicy. From that, Getty's trade empire, officially enters orbit. He finally becomes the richest man in the world, owning a property. This is the real person, the real thing. Speaking of grandson, he is pushed by several people. Being dragged to a cell, the kidnappers call the mother. If you want your son, you have to give me 17 million dollars. You do not cry poor with me, your father-in-law is the richest man in the world. Hearing the kidnappers say that, Gail is very reluctant. Because of the relationship between her and her father-in-law, is not good. Back to nine years ago, there is something happened. At morning, Gail was awakened by the children. She has to go to work in the morning, though she was tired. But it is possible to feel warmth and happiness. Their whole family, living in a small cramped house. They were poor. It turned out, the relationship of the richest man and his son was not good. But it's not good to be so poor, Gail told her husband. If could, how about making a phone call to your father? We played the game of chance without shame, just keep a thick face today. But John Jr. boasted, saying that he didn't need to flatter. Even if I die of starving, I will not ask for any money from father. I have to try my best. At that night, John Jr. tried to write letters, asking his father that, if he's willing to give him a job. Unexpectedly, Getty was still very good. Not for long, he sent back a letter. Okay you come here, I will let you be vice president. However, promotion or high salar. With so called the aura of the richest man in the world. Do not make Paul's family has a better life. But making this happy family, becomes broken. Because the husband now has money. There is a word that, men who have money will become spoiled. Little by little. He started indecently, he is less and less human. Gail's really disappointed, she couldn't stand it anymore. So she decided to divorce him, the divorce conditions was not too difficult. She didn't need to divide the property equally. There is also no need for alimony. After hearing that, this business got a lot of money and did not lose money at all. So he immediately agreed, Golly was a bit emotional. She said she didn't need money, it leads to the results in the future. What would it be? She will lost her son. Her son has been kidnapped. The kidnappers asks for money 17 million dollars. But where does Golly get that money? So she has to keep continuing, asking her father-in-law for help. For her father-in-law, who is the world's richest man, 17 million is not much. But after hearing his grandson was kidnapped. Getty seems to it's not his business. There is no ripple in his heart. Absolutely having no thought of spending money. He even deliberately asks the secretary to close the door. The media also wants to know, about Getty's thought. So they turn the camera on his face. He's is about to answer. Then the reporters immediately knee down. He says I have 14 grandsons and granddaughter. If I give the ransom what'll happen? Don't even think about my other 13 grandson and granddaughter. There must be many people, having intention of kidnapping them, so I'm protecting them right now. As expected, the nerve circuit of the richest man in the world. Really cannot compare with ordinary people. In front of people, Getty seems to be calm. But he's still a bit worried, don't misunderstand. He still really doesn't care about his grandson. What Getty's worried about is, what is going to happen to the company. If the stock falls, it's going to be a big deal. So he finds a company safety advisor, to investigate. The whereabouts of his grandson. Bring him back to me, try to spend less money, go. But for Gail, she does not asking for a safety advisor, but 17 million. Because who knows, will the kidnapper kill his son or not? The world richest man's grandson has been kidnapped. After the latest news is broadcast, there are more clues, there are many kinds of kidnappers. Starting to send letters to Gail. We have him, you just need to transfer the money into my bank account. Clearly, these people are using this chance, to take advantage. While they still do not know, where are the real kidnappers, the clues are becoming more confused. The media is getting deeper and deeper into this case. The difficulty to investigate this case, is more higher. The police also send people, to come to Gail's house, increasing protection. Supporting to solve the case. On the other side money has not come yet. The kidnappers are becoming impatient. They threaten Paul to write a letter to his mother. If not, they will chop his finger. At the same time, Chase has investigated the local thugs. They says that Paul always has a thought, of creating a kidnapping. 
so isn't it possible to ask for money from his grandfather, but they don't know why, Paul doesn't look for them anymore, but he has cooperated with others, their words are really specific, Chase starts to believe, so he reports this situation for Getty, but Getty, after hearing that, does not seem to be surprised at all, he tells Chase, what do you think, as I said before, money is a good thing, it can test humanity, look when I have money, people around, they're all like parasites, want to stick with me every day, don't they just think about my money, so I bought these artworks, people's heart can change whenever they want, but objects still remain unchanged, hearing that, Chase starts to understand the reason, why Getty does not give them money, on the other side, the kidnappers has yet to receive the ransom, they also insist wanting to get back the money, that is serving fee for Paul, they are also a bit impatient, all kinds of contradictions piles up, they frankly decides to shoot each others, the police finally know where they are, after the police arrives, they has investigated a good news and a bad news, good news is Paul's still alive, but a bad news is, this kidnapping it's not Paul's self acting, but it's really dangerous, after investigating the body, the police realizes that, this is one of the members of a criminal's corporation, they are on the way to find out the origin, they have found out their place, but unfortunately, they are one step behind, Paul has been moved, the kidnappers can't wait for the ransom, so they sell Paul for the biggest investor in tow, so the situation of Paul now, is more and more dangerous, after Chance knows about that, first he reports the situation for Getty, also reminding him that, this investor doesn't not the same as the kidnappers before, he just want to get some money, if he can't get get the ransom, then he's losing deal, it's possible that, Paul can get hurt, but after hearing that, Getty still remains calm, he says it can't be, finance situation is a bit tough lately, I cannot spend money, Chase is impotent, one side, he wants to finish his mission, the other side Getty doesn't want to spend that much money, what can he do now, how about negotiation, it turns out unexpected that, the negotiation is successful, those people are really easy to talk to, at first, we said 17 million, but we will give you a huge discount, because it takes too long, just give us 7 million, but 7 million, for Gale is still a big amount of money, Getty, on the other hand, does he say he have finance problem, but he has just bought a 1 million painting, in a blink of eyes, this kid is not simple, while these people are having meals, he starts to take action, pouring the wine into the glass to make a kindling, then he trims the top of the match, making a paper roll, then, a simple weapon is completed, one roll, two roll, he takes the paper roll, to burn the grass outside, while those people are putting out the fire, his action has been realized by the Cinquanta, fortunately, this time, Cinquanta, talking with Paul a lot, the two become close, so he doesn't want, Paul's life to be put in danger, so when Paul runs away, he helps him, but unexpectedly, the local police department, has been bought by the investor, it takes Paul half a day, to escape, he has just called his mom, then be captured by them, the investor pisses off, he decides to cut Paul's right ear, teaching him a lesson, also issuing a warning to others that, we're really going to kill him, after receiving the information, the newsroom contacts Gail, Gail is greatly agitated, she tells the newsroom, you get this news on newspaper, I do not need the copyright money, just give me 1000 newspaper, so she throws these 1000 newspaper, in front of Getty's house, after seeing these contents, the world richest man seems to have some conscience, maybe just because he's scared of the media, will affect to the stock price, overall he finally changes his mind, Getty finally agrees to give her money, but he only gives her 1 million, the rest she has to handle by herself, because 1 million is a right amount to help him evade taxes properly, furthermore, this money is not for free, after bringing him back, I will take the custody, of course, we have to be clear about everything, you can totally deny, but if she denies, what is going to happen with her son, so she has no choice but accept, she takes 1 million first, then continuing to negotiate with the kidnappers, we have money now, but can you go down to $200, that person is really easy to talk to, $200 is not enough, but I will give you a best price, last chance, this is my final deal, 4 million, Gail says it's still too high, she only has $200, how about 1 million, the kidnapper, becoming unpleasant, okay, 1 million and I'll give you one quarter body of your son, I can't decide the price by myself, you can't cut me off like that, there is also an investor above, if you don't give the money, that person can really be in danger, for real, I don't want to see, these kinds of situation, so you guys quickly, find a way, 4 million is the best price I can give you, after hearing that, Gail is desperate, because whatever she does, she can't have 4 million, if there is no way, she has to risk, she lies to the kidnappers that she has 4 million, then when she gives them money, Chase takes a chance, to save Paul, obviously it's really dangerous, but with the situation right now, she doesn't care that much, after listening to her, Chase is furious, so he finds Getty, spiting on him, this kind of person like you, doesn't care about your grandson at all, what is the meaning of living, I'm going to help them, this job, I don't want to do it anymore, Getty hears they say that, angry but can do nothing, you guys even don't try, how can I suppose to give you money, even if I have that much money, I still can't stand anyone spending my money, but now, it's enough to try, it is time, for me to save the world, then, he transfers 3 million to Gale, based on the instruction of the kidnappers, Gale and Chase put money in the middle of the road, then driving out for 1 kilometer, they'll call after they finish counting money, these kidnappers are quite trustworthy, after finishing counting money, they put Paul in a sewer, telling him to wait there, Cinquanta is quite good, he reminds Paul, don't just sit there, run as fast as he can, as expected, after dividing money, they find out that the police has come, the investor thinks that he is tricked, deciding to kill Paul, but at the moment, Paul has run to a small town, 
finally seeing his mom and Chase, it all ends at last, they're safe. Thanks to the support of Cinquanta. They leave Italy safely and going back to the US. That night, Getty, the richest man. Taking down the painting form the wall. It is a painting called The Mother and Daughter. He embraces the painting, shaking. He looks at the two people in the painting. Finally, he die lonely. The last part of the movie is unexpected. When Getty is alive, he is stingy with family members. But after he dies, he leaves all of his property for them. Gail is her son's mother. So she also have, the right to handle the property. In the hallway, she stares at his father-in-law's statue. Without a word, she doesn't know, what to say. This gaze has a pronoun meaning. The servant asks her what help she needs. She says nothing. I'm fine. You think, does she really have everything? In other words, now, if she has another chance, she won't let her husband, asking his father for help. Because family is priceless, talking about Getty. His life is splendid, but also sad. He can do anything with money, but he doesn't realize that, family is the most priceless. In his heart, the value of family, even not worth a painting. Until the last moment of life, he finally understands that, there is something priceless. This move called all the money in the world. It's adapted form a real story. Can money really measure anything? It may a bit difficult, 